I'm taking off again. President's tense. Big white house. Big white fence. The industry fake. I can't get involved. These niggas capping. Haven't even seen the shit that I saw. Sup? Dope. <laughs> Check it out. Right. Uh, right now, I'm really hot. And I'm not the one to like sweat like that. Like, right now, if you was to be in my room, you would probably sweat bullets. But I'm glistening right now. Every part of my body is glistening. Every part. So, no. A uh, scary true story about bloody fucking Mary. One day, I was on my way back from a school party. Right. I was with my friends, but please keep in mind, I was only 20 years old. Okay. We were drunk, so we really didn't know where our Uber driver was taking us. He took us through this road called Sonol in California, and everyone in the car knew this road had a very upsetting story behind it. I can tell because on both sides of the road is pitch black. Darkness. Meep, meep. And every time, I feel like every time somebody goes down that road, there's always a story to tell. Every time. And I forgot to put my phone on airplane mode. Jesus. We didn't care since we were all drunk and it was 3 a.m. Wow. We just wanted to go home. Three at what seemed like the end of the ride, the driver stopped at the side of the road and let in this girl. Um. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 Obviously, the Uber driver is on some bullshit because I have, the, as many times as I'm ashamed to say right now, but as many times as I've been in the Uber driver, like in a in a like been Uber Ubering, this is this has never happened. Not even with a taxi, bruh, or a lift. Why would you do that, bruh? Be oh, because she's a woman and she's on the side of the road because she looks stranded, and because I put air quotes is because this whole shit could be a setup, my nigga. She already looks sus. Dark, long, rusty, thick, nasty hair. What the, what the, what the, what the ugly ass dress on. I really hope we did not just pick her up because she looked lost or she looked, you know, she need, she, it looked like, it looked like she needed help. My ass, she needed help. What the fuck? Why would why would you why would an Uber driver? <sighs> she sat in the back seat of the car. The hell? She claimed her name was Mary. All of our hearts dropped when we saw she had a dress on. It was a white dress. Sus? She also claimed that her husband dumped her on her wedding night. Okay, damn. She said she was trying to find a ride for three hours, but she couldn't since it was too dark outside. My ass! Why you I got a good look at her, I was shaking. Because she was tearing up blood. Oh, shit. You better yeet! I whispered to my good friend. No, nigga. I thought I paused you, bitch. Like I said, you better, and I'm not telling nobody. If I look back and you're bleeding, your eyes, you're, you're bleeding blood from your eye sockets. Bruh, I'm in <laughs> out that window. I don't give a damn. I don't care about anybody else in this car except for myself. I'm not God. Can you imagine you 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 see somebody and they're they're crying blood, but they look perfect like perfectly fine. Like it doesn't look like. The blood is causing any pain. Dominic had told him about the Bloody Mary story. God damn. 
I told him that it took place on this very road and that the girl might be a ghost. Why are you driving on the road? Right as I finished that sentence, she looked at me through the rear view mirror oh my with her bright white eyes and asked us if we were talking about her. No. My heart dropped once again. We asked the guy to pull over, but he insisted on dropping us off at our location. Drop, drop, drop. my, my ass. ass off. Right, right, right. Clucking, clucking now. now. Please, if you don't, I will. You either stop this car and drop me off, or I'm yeeting out, out, out the car window. Because something tells me I am better off outside than I am inside this car. One of my female friends in the car started crying after Mary started reciting all of our names from the back of the car. We were scared because we didn't tell her our names. Now everyone in the car was crying except for me. It felt like we were driving forever, but it had only been 10 minutes. It got brighter out, and we realized that no one was in the back. It was a night spirit that was there, and it left because it was now morning. The next morning, I thought about what happened while I was taking a shower. When I looked in the mirror, I saw a scratch on my neck. Jesus. What, what, how many scratches was that? How many, how many scratches did he have on his neck? Hold up. One, two, three, four, five. five. He had five scratches on his neck. Five scratches. You know what that means, right? That's five times he, he's going to get clocked up. At least, at least five times. In each time he gets clocked, is going to be worse, harder, with excruciating pain. Every time it gets worse. Every time. And by the time you get to the third scratch, He might as well wish he was dead, bro. Jesus. And this is why, first, you don't take Ubers. If you do, may God be with you. Because you're getting in a car with a stranger. That's how I feel about taxis and lifts. That's, that's just the way it is. I have always felt like that. All right. Two. You don't pick up random people on the side of the road. I don't care. This is why I, I need to put my phone on airplane mode. Because if I don't, people are just going to call me like somebody just did. Or my notifications are just going to, I'm going to be seeing those. See, if I have my phone on airplane mode, I don't get no notifications or no phone calls, no nothing. Right? Yeah, but this is why you don't pick up people on the side of the road. I don't care who they are. I don't care how old they are. I don't care the situation. A stranger is a stranger. Okay? And I, yeah. Jesus, bro. And, 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 and to add salt to the wound. The Uber driver, see this is what makes me think the Uber driver was in cahoots with uh Bloody. Right? I'm not about to say I'm not about to say her her uh first and last name. I'm not about to say her first and last name. But this is why I think the Uber driver was in cahoots with the uh with with Bloody. Right? Uber driver you're doing business with the people that you picked up. They paid for that trip. Okay? They didn't pay for you to pick somebody up. They didn't pay for you to stop at a gas station, at a store, at your man's house, at your girl's house. They paid you to pick them up, take them to their desired destination, and that's all. So what you just did, 
picking up bloody on a side of the, on a side of a sus road makes me think. I don't think. I know that you was in cahoots with bloody. And don't tell me and don't give me oh she's a woman and it's dark as hell outside. I, and it's 3 a.m. Hey, and it was 3 a.m. Come on, bruh. Red flags out the ass in this video. Jesus. Oh, see. God damn. Oh, and did I, uh, Tell me if I'm if I'm getting this mixed up or like wrong or something. They was driving in an Uber in an Uber right at night. Were they still driving? Like, did they drive through the night? Because when it was morning, they were still in the car. Bruh, how long was that trip for, bruh? Damn. Y'all was in that car for a prick. Jeez. Keep it cool, keep it classy, and I love you. Say hey, my family.